Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk. Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you about my new package called Quick Blocks. Um, it, as it says here, is the Umbraco package for building quick Umbraco sites. Um, basically, a while ago, I had an idea, a bit of a revelation. Oh, I wonder if you could build Umbraco sites um, just from the static HTML. I mean, part of it for me is when you dissect the HTML and you put it in. It's quite therapeutic, but really it is just plumbing. And I thought, aren't, aren't block lists and block grids quite fiddly and finicky and take a lot of work to get them all set up right and follow all the conventions and things? And when you're starting a new site, it's like, oh, you've got to set it all up. Well, what if all that plumbing and setup could be done automatically for you? And what if you could build the site in Umbraco just using the HTML um, and without changing the HTML as well. So using the data, using data attributes in the HTML. So that's what I've come up with. Um, I do need to give some credit to um, Hi-Fi Digital, what's his name? Oh, uh, kill me. Phil from Hi-Fi Digital or Balance Dev. He, um, he might have subconsciously inspired me with his when he did his package Yuzu, so I need to give credit to Phil. I don't think it's the same, I think it's something different, uh, but in, just in case there's any similarities, don't, you know, I might have been subconsciously inspired by what he's done already with his uh, package, but I think that was a commercial package and was slightly different. Anyway, enough rambling on, let me show you this. So this is a site that I have built using Quick Blocks. Uh, if I refresh it, I think there's more elements to it now, yeah. So it's a site that I've used, uh, I've built using Quick Blocks. All of these are editable sections um, using the block list editor. And if I show you here in the back office, you know, you've got an image, you've got a title, description, things like that. The usual stuff that you want. We've got in the settings here, um, ignore this for now. But if we go over here, we've got components, compositions, content blocks, settings, models. So I like, I like to do things a certain way. So this is a, an opinionated way. But if you like, if you agree with my opinion, then it's good. But otherwise you can just fork it and just change it how you want it. So I like to, when I'm working with a block list, I like to create the content model and the matching setting model. And at the moment, all of these inherit the hide setting and things like that. So from the block visibility, these have all got the properties on them. And again, all of this was generated using the HTML. So I will show you it in action in a moment. But before I delete all my hard work, I just wanted to show it you. Now here I've got my pages and then the home page with this property on it. In, future revisions of this I'll probably make it be like content composition that the because I don't normally put properties directly on the page uh, so yeah uh, let's have a look oh another thing that it does is it creates the partial views for you and everything so let's just see a bit of magic in action um, and see what you think let me know what you think in the comments by the way so I uh, so that's what you will get with this and I am just going to generate it now. So I've got a script basically which I wrote. So I'm just going to rebuild solution and I'm actually going to clean the solution to kill the, uh, I want to kill the connection to the database so I can clean it and start from scratch. So if I do this and then run the cleanup task, um, this PowerShell script, it just deletes everything that's not meant to be there you know that got built temporarily while I've been testing it so now if I run this site I'll have a, a brand new Umbraco site so let's run it again um, here we go so it's going to be a clean install of Umbraco so that will be our starting point and let's say you've been to the internet you've got a theme that you want to use yeah um, and the theme I wanted to use was this one called stylish so I've actually put it in the root of my site so we can just have a look at what it looks like so this is it it is from start bootstrap and you can just this is just a static HTML I'll show you the file 
So if we go into here, this is it here, stylish. So it's just a simple one pager, HTML. And what I've done is I've gone through and I've added some data attributes. So this is the same file. This is in the W root, so I can serve the file. And then this is here in just the, the root of my project. And if I look, if you look, I've put data prop name, main content. The property type is a block list main content. I want the location of this property on the page and so on. And I've just gone through and all I've done is I've added these data attributes following the what they're like they're not just randomly named these are the attributes themselves need the correct name but you can choose the name for these things and you can also tell it what icon you want to use so if you know the icon class in, in umbraco to use you can otherwise it will default to a science one i think but look like this h2 property title so i've just got it in as a title um and that will by default that will create this property for me on this row, this about simple link row. It will create that property straight away. And then I've got a, a paragraph called description, and it will automatically, depending on the type that it is, like an H2 or a P, it will work out whether it needs to be a string or it needs to be a rich text and so on. And you can define that as well. So you might want to use a different type, like here, I've got a P, but actually I want it to be a text string because I want to keep the class and everything around it. So, and really it only does that amount of text. So I've just told that one to use that prop type. Um, there's things like a back on the header, um, I've got a background image and basically I've said prop name image, location is on the row that it's on. And then I just said, use this replace marker to, to do it. So, and I put that marker I've added this style background image URL here. So now it's going to create an image property for me and do that. So let's go back to our site. That's enough showing you around there. And we'll just log in. And then we'll refresh and you'll find that we've got a brand new site, no document types or anything. So we've got quick blocks. So you can either paste your HTML in here or work on it and edit it. It's using the Ace Editor, I think, or whatever the one comes with on Braco. Um, or you can tell it the path. So this path is basically what's in the root of your um, web project, not in the WW root, but in the actual root folder. So if I do stylish.html, it will pick up um, this file that I was editing and adding all the data attributes too. So if I do submit, you can also just do a report first if you want. But if I do submit, that will actually, that's done it now, it's created the site for me. And what it's done is it's created a home page. Um, it's got some properties on it, there's the name, and it's got some HTML, the HTML block for this. And it just goes down and does more and more and adds all the prop gets all the properties and everything like that. But also what it's done, if we refresh this and we go down to partial views and block list and components, we've got all of these um, like it's created the header row for me. Um, so it's actually created the partial. It's got the code up here to give you the row itself and the settings object for it. Um, I've set it up so that by default you can start hiding the rows if you don't want to use them. It's worked out for that um, image URL as a background image because I wanted to. And yeah, it's just pulled through the row description. It knew about the link. Like if I show you this link here, you know, you've got the link, target and name. Well, let's go back to this and that was on the header. All I did for that link was just do data prop name link and prop location is row and that's it. And that's from that it was able to do this. So if we just look at the header one as an example, I'm just, oh yeah, it's created the page available, you know, the doc type to be able to be created in the root of the site. And then um, it's created these blocks so it created the block list data type for us, created the blocks that go in this, 
and added it to the main content property on here. So now I can choose that. I can upload some images. So I'll just get some of these stock images here. And I will do the yellow one because that one's got a nice background where it won't clash with the text. So this is a test. And then, hello, this was generated from HTML only. And then link, link, I've messed up with that link. But you get it, you can link off to whatever. It's just basic um, Umbraco properties at this point. Save and publish this. So it takes a while on the first save. I think that might be an Umbraco thing and not just a um, quick blocks thing because every save and publish after that is like instant. So we'll go to that and we'll just look at the page. There we go, the header's there. Oh, um, let me show you what it does with the uh, template as well. So in the views and the master, so it's created a master and we've got a partial here. So it sliced this up and put this as the top navigation. It's put this as the footer. So if we say, well, how did it do that? Well, we'll just have a look. And all I did was I said for the nav, I just said data partial name, top navigation. So that took care of that. It, it took the HTML from it. It uh, replaced it with a call to the partial as well. And you might want to do components and things, but that's up to you. That's like later. This is for a quick getting you started, slicing up your template sort of thing, um, building your blocks quickly for you. You don't have to use the data partial thing. You can do it however you want. Uh, yeah, so that's the master template. And then it created the homepage template as well and it put the get block list html and it knows about the home page model name and things like that so yeah and then you just start adding the things on so what else it did it did a list inside of lists so again just from data attributes in the html we are now able to do like um, portfolio row let's just put in here portfolio um, and then so now we're in a a list of lists so this is portfolio items inside the portfolio row which is inside the block list data type so yeah we can just put whatever um, just put anything in this just to demo and this is a demo and then choose one of these lovely images create that and then we can just copy this four times or two times whatever we want Same publish and then just reload it and there we are and it's created those for us and I don't know what you think uh, but I'd love to hear what you think um, if you put it in the comments let me know if you like it or what or what ideas you've got for it um, but yeah this is quick blocks and it's a quick way to at the moment create block lists and properties and things like that um, in Umbraco 10 and above or whatever. Um, I'll have an alpha out soon where you can test it out and try it yourself. You're not allowed to judge me on the code though because I've just got code in there that's working at the moment. It can all be cleaned up and if people want to contribute to cleaning it up, that's great. Um, another thing to mention is that, so I, this is the sort of thing that I do in the evenings when I get some time, but also, um, as part of my job at Clarkswell, they, they've given me time on Fridays to be able to work on community things like this. So um, shout out to my employers, uh, Clarkswell, for giving me the time to be able to move this on. Because I think if I wasn't given that time, I probably wouldn't have got this far with it so quickly. So yeah, um, I'm going to end the video here. If you like the video, please click on like, subscribe to my channel, um, share it with others. And yeah, comment on Twitter, let me know what you think, or comment in the YouTube comments, and uh, yeah, I'd love to hear from you all. All right, take care, bye.